to be a low tolerance for the idea of building a low barrier intake center for the homeless on South Bend's northwest side. We're talking plenty of pushback on the chosen location as our team found out today. Mark Peterson is following this story for us tonight and joins us in studio with the latest. Hey, Mark. You know, in a meeting of the Redevelopment Commission today, there was support for what the city wants to do for the homeless, but some pretty solid opposition as to where it wants to do it. Plans call for building an intake center for the homeless on a vacant five-acre parcel north of the South Bend school bus garage off Bendix. Today, the idea brought concerns from those nearby in the car care business. You know, nobody wants it in their backyard. You know, it's been kicked around from one end of town to the other. As well as those nearby in the child care business. People in the area, uh, if, there's a, if there's a development that would cause uh, folks to the area um, who um, appear to have a history of interactions with the police and illegal behavior, uh, to have that five minutes away from my child care center, um, that causes me concern on behalf of my staff and all the children that we are uh, looking out for. Multiple speakers pointed to the former Knights Inn property, which serves as the current low barrier intake that officials are looking to replace. And I've witnessed firsthand the decline in that neighborhood since the city put the motel project there. The issue with low barrier housing, by definition, it's uh, inviting people in that uh, are not meeting uh, base level of standards. So there's no sobriety requirements. Uh, there's no time requirements so people can more or less come and go. Uh, certainly, I understand there are businesses that are adjacent to this, and they had shared some concerns today. And I think it's important that we continue to engage with them uh, and hear those concerns and, and work to address them through design. And those design features could include things like uh, perimeter fencing, 24-hour on-site security, perhaps uh, camera surveillance. The commission today, by the way, unanimously voting to table this Bendix option after being asked to allow more time for public input. Okay, we'll see what happens next. Mark Peterson live for us tonight. Mark, thank you. I'm going to take a turn to our forecast.